What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be spearfishing again today and I'm in Monterey. I'm going to be targeting probably rockfish this time. I don't think there will be many lingcod but there might be but let's just see how it goes. It's a super calm day so I'm super excited to get in and I haven't seen it this calm in a while. I know I say that every time but it seems like each time it just gets calmer. But this is my setup right here and I have this new cooler bag that I can bring along with me. That way I don't have to just be towing the fish in the water. I already have it set up with ice because I'm pretty optimistic about how this is gonna go. So let's get into it. So I always start off my dives by loading my gun. That way I'm prepared for anything. Of course, right when I get in, I see tons of perch. As a spear fisherman, this is extremely common. You'll probably see hundreds of perch on your dives, depending on where you go, but places that have them have a lot of them. But since I'm not targeting perch today, time to start hole hunting. The universe must have heard that because check out what I saw. I've never seen this ever before. It was insane. I was kind of freaking out, but there are literally like 500 opali perch just swimming around. I have no idea why. Maybe they were spawning. I don't know, but there were tons of them. I saw this for like a whole five minutes. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. It was crazy. After not seeing much fish in the shallower parts, I decided to go to a deeper area and see if I could find some rockfish there. My adventures to deeper waters was awarded only with this small, tiny rockfish. I didn't find anything else there. A long while later, I saw this. I thought that this was an Alaskan king crab that just came super far down, but it turns out that these are actually sheep crab and they're native to California. Then I take another dive, super surprised that I found that crazy crab, and not thinking that I could see something even weirder when this catches my eye. I looked at it and I was like, that looks like a snail. And then I was like, no way, that's just a sea cucumber. Oh wait, maybe that's a piece of kelp. And so I prodded it, and it moved! It's alive! It was like a living animal. And it was absolutely crazy because I had never seen that before, but these are actually called sea hares. It's insane what you'll find in the ocean. And then I saw this, as if today couldn't get any weirder. This was a fish that looked kind of like a cabezon and a monkey face eel had a baby. It was very weird and it didn't seem scared of me at all. But it was a weird looking fish. You might think, oh, you're just new to the Monterey Bay area or you're just new to diving. No, I'm not. I've literally gone to these places so many times for four years and I've never seen anything like what I saw this day. Then after not seeing any fish at all, I was teased with this. Look at that. That looks like a halibut in the sand, but I went down and it turns out it's just two rocks in that perfect diamond formation. Okay, okay, enough crazy things. Time to start actually hole hunting. I looked around for a while and hey, look, there's a rockfish, but then no way, no way. That's a huge rockfish. So I went back down for it and it wasn't there or was it? I see it peeking out and it's just curious enough to stick its head out. and I got a nice headshot on it. This was a pretty big rockfish. When they get to this size, they have like quadruple the amount of meat proportionally that a smaller rockfish will have. And it's not a dive in Monterey if you don't see one of these ugly faces. That's a monkey face eel. I had been out for a while. My seven millimeter wetsuit keeps me warm, but I was kind of exhausted. So I took a little break on the banks board and then I got right back into it. What did I see? One small rockfish there in that hole. And then I went down to the other side. Ridges like these often have tons of fish laying underneath them. And then one, two, one, two, and three rockfish there. See, I told you, tons of rockfish. Then you can see a monkey face eel in the back of this one. Monkey face eels are always poking their head out of rocks. It's kind of weird. 
for all the Spiros watching this, what do you like better, carbon fins, plastic fins? What's your take on this? I personally prefer plastic fins because I find myself diving in a lot of rough places where my fins need to be able to take a beating. As I was coming back in from the dive, I saw this huge opal eye. It ended up being 18 inches and I decided I'd try out opal eye again. One of the really interesting things that you can see in this clip is that the urchin population heavily affects the ocean floor. You can see right here that the rock on the left has tons and tons of urchins and there's almost nothing growing on it. Whereas the rocks that don't have so many urchins have a lot of growth of kelp, of weeds, and of all the underwater plants that provide shelter for so much biodiversity. Sometimes it's crazy seeing the urchin barrens where there's absolutely nothing for like a whole entire part of the beach and it's just urchins and urchins on the entire seafloor. Nothing else, there's no fish, no life at all, other than the urchins of course. Sea urchins have very sharp teeth that can practically eat any of the ocean's flora. They are a natural part of the system's food chain, but when their population is left unchecked due to a scarcity of predators such as otters, starfish, or sheephead, then their populations can get so big that the ecosystem just can't handle it. Basically, to simplify it all down, too many urchins equals no kelp. No kelp equals no fish. And you might say, okay, Hideshi, this isn't marine biology. Why do we need to know this? Well, this is actually a huge problem in California, and a lot of our kelp beds are disappearing due to huge urchin populations. There's not really that much you can do about these huge populations other than harvesting uni if you like it. That might be extra motivation. So I was talking over the last couple of videos, but there were four rockfish and one monkey face eel in those videos. So let's see if someone ends up actually seeing all five. If you do, leave the timestamps below so someone else can check them out. Okay, you guys, I forgot to show you this fish before I cut it up. As you can see, my fillet job still needs a bit of work. I'm way better than I used to be on my first dive back. It took me like three hours to fillet three fish. So it was an hour per fish. And then the next time it took me around 20 minutes per fish. And then this fish took me 10 minutes to fillet. And as you can see, it's a pretty good job, not perfect. I definitely messed up this side, but this was the biggest perch I saw. I just snuck up on him. I didn't get it on the video, but I snuck up on him over a rock. These perch are really skittish, so he was not letting me come close at all. But if you just move very slow, they tend to be pretty curious and they'll loop back around to check you out. And I knew it was going to do that. And so I hid behind a rock. And when it looped again for another look, I was there and I just surprised it out of the rock and then just shot it. A nice headshot too, as you can see over here. Nice headshot. So it wasn't stoned, but it was definitely a nice shot. Getting back in was really hard because I couldn't get the spear shaft out of this guy's head. And so I almost ended up spearing myself which is not good. I didn't lose anything this dive except for one booty, so not bad. All right, this is the first rockfish that I shot. As you can see, it's not too big, especially with what I've been catching lately, but this was the biggest one I saw. The other ones were probably around there to it. So it's like maybe three fish tacos right here, but a decent size. I didn't want to just come back empty handed, so I just shot this one. It was a pretty easy shot. And what's surprising is the perch meat is probably going to end up being more than the rockfish meat. And these perch usually are pretty small. But let's see how this fillet is going to come out. First fillet job. There we go. Now to the second side. <laughs> 